Rastafari human rights. If I'm doing Rastafari, stop violate. Oh, I see violate. Okay. So, tell us what's your name, which organized, which Rastafarian organization you represent, and what's the reason for your protest today? Blessed be the name of the Most High God, Maria Eilish Salati, who swayed on to the great King David, him seed with him established forever and built up his throne to all generations. Today, the General Rastafari Council is being out in the 12 tribes of Israel is out here to address issues that violate in human rights. Aina is here today to make sure that the government is aware that government is fallible and government is only an executive force of centralized authority to express the will of the people. And I night this day is here to seek it that in the manifesto of the government that dealing with small amounts of marijuana being decriminalized according to international laws and the Caribbean human rights curriculum, I and I feel this day that I and I rights is being violated and I, and I come to seek it that the Attorney General address this matter caused in the Constitution and also in the manifesto of the UP government the claim small amount of marijuana will be decriminalized. The past government said the same thing and the past government is out of power because of this issue that has become a political issue this day. And the General Safari Council is here to address this matter and demand that the Attorney General stop his office and the judiciary from oppressing Rastafari and the Guyanese people and give I the right to the sacramental use of marijuana. I understand that the Attorney General had made a promise as well to meet with the Rastafarian Council. What's your position on that? Well, so far, um, they didn't. I heard in Parliament in the discussion that they said it's set up a selected committee at the General Rastafari Council, nor the NGO, nor to I was not consulted to sit on this committee. And time overdue. Rastafari is going to prison, the Rastafari family is being destroyed, and my children is being unprotected. And we need I and I human rights, religious rights, we need cultural reforms, we need religious uh, legal reforms to address these issues that I and I is confronted with. So you believe uh, the position of the Rastafarian Council is that no one should go to prison for a joint? No one should go to prison for marijuana because marijuana is disclassified. And this day, marijuana is a herb, a medicine, for recreational purpose also. So I and I say that this government is violating Guyanese human rights. Thank you, sir. What's your name again, please, sir? Rastemian Sali Salasi, President <laughs> of the Gyan Rastafari Council. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm not here alone. I'm here with representatives of the Rastafari community who is being oppressed and is feeling it this day. And, uh, would like to speak out also. Sure. The way I Just did. point me in the direction. Uh, I have the general secretary of the general Rastafari Council here. Sitting there? Right here. Right here. All right. If we can move closer. General secretary of the guy in the Rastafari Council. Yeah. Greetings, brother. What's your name again, please, sir? Ras Kafra. Ras Kafra. 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 What's your position here today? Well, um, we've been representing this issue for a while. Um, since this government was in office previously, under the um, PNC government now they've returned. Mm -hmm. All the while um, promises but no tangible move. Uh, when this government came in recently, that was one of the first thing that things that we announced was that um, the, the, the Attorney General said that the President asked him to do this matter expeditiously and that they were going to set up a committee and hold consultation. We spoke to Ms. Mm -hmm. the chair of um, we asked for a meeting, she said that she would give us a meeting and then she reneged on the meeting. Um, she had promised to give us a, a copy of the bill so that we could go through it and, you know, um, give her a critique of it and so on. Nothing has happened since then and we've observed that um, many persons recently have been um, charged for five grams and all these ridiculous amounts, right? We are out here because one of our elders, a very um, popular elder, Rasli Asal, um, president, former president, former president of the Rastafari Council. Council. His home was raided and he was dragged and, and, and thrown into the police station um, somewhere up to Mary. Right? Um, so that is that 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 kind of hit home to us because I mean this is an elder. He's, he's a retired person. Why is it that police um, would have to go and do that to him? So you know we were we were trying to to accommodate the government by giving them an opportunity to, to uh, respond but um, is overbearing and if we have to do this every week 
you know, through our outreach, build up momentum, we prepared to do that. But we're not going to come off this battlefield until they do something about it. You spoke about the bill. Uh, I guess you're referring to the Psychotropic Substances Act. They, when they had, uh, when they had um, opposed the bill that AP and you had tabled, they presented their own bill. And they promised us a copy of it. We've not seen it, right? Um, but that, again, is a promise unfulfilled. So um, we're here in this position, and time is going. So I, so I take know it. It's happening internationally, uh, even regionally, many things in terms of countries. Um, going further on certain bills that they have um, established um, previously, they, they, they're expanding it like Jamaica and so on, right? Um, but this government has done nothing, right? So that's a concern for us because if we remember the 1823 rebellion, it was because Africans in Guyana heard that Africans outside of Guyana were free and they were no longer prepared to remain uh, enslaved while their brothers and sisters were, in, um, were free. So, so we are in that same position. Right? So you're, you're saying mm -hmm. that it's an injustice to see somebody being remanded or jailed for small amounts of marijuana. Yes. Especially in the context where the, 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 the perceptions and attitudes towards cannabis has changed. Mm -hmm. In other countries, people are now making millions of dollars out of this thing. People are free to, to, to utilize it medically and recreationally and all these things. And you're still lacking up people in Ghana for this thing is ridiculous. University giving people certificate to plant marijuana. <laughs> marijuana is an economic plant to bring about climate change.